All right, everybody, welcome back to a special episode of The Forward, joined today by my old friend and uh, old teammate, great, great teammate, just a total warrior, um, Yaroslav Popovich, a.k.a. Popo, uh, also joined on this one, uh, special guest, Johan Bruniel, because we all, the three of us spent so much time together. But um, uh, if you guys don't know the story and haven't followed cycling, uh, Popo is a uh, native Ukrainian. Um, very much loves his country and and offered to come on the show and just talk about um, the situation there and also more importantly talk about the humanitarian missions that he's on to deliver uh, vital supplies right it's primarily medicine a um, little bit of food but primarily medicine um, as close to the Ukrainian border as possible so um, fascinating to talk to him and and just fun to kind of think back to the old days, Johan, you, 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 uh, I didn't want to give you uh, Popo too much grief about this, but I'll remember, I'll never forget Corchevel or one of those years when, when you were, you told him to, to you know, go to the front and go as hard as he could. And he, he, it was like, you shot him out of a cannon. I was in the back, like Johan, tell him to slow the fuck down. He's killing me, <laughs> but uh, obviously much more serious times. We're all watching this. Uh, from afar and certainly sending our best to the people of Ukraine and, and, and watching just straight up heroics on every level from, um, from just regular citizens all the way up uh, to the president. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. And uh, one last thing, um, there will be a link uh, in the bio and at the end of the show, um, if you guys and gals want to help out Popo and all his efforts, uh, just cover some costs, make sure we get the most essential goods to the people that need it the most. Thanks for tuning in. All right, everybody. Welcome back to what really feels like a special episode of the Forward podcast. I know it may not look like a Forward because Johan Bernil is, is here with us as well, but we also have a really special guest, uh, somebody that we got to know um, through the years of, of racing with Postal and Discovery, um, hell of a bike rider and, and a hell of a director sportif, but Yaroslav Popovich, a.k.a. Popo, all you fans of ours back in the day, will remember Popo well. And if you do, um, you'll know that he is, he is from the country of Ukraine. And so, I, look, everybody in the whole world is watching this situation unfold. I'm sitting here at my studio in Colorado with the TV on going through the news channels. And it's, it's, uh, it's tough to watch. This is not, uh, not anything, uh, that I've ever really seen before. Um, but maybe I haven't been paying attention, but although I think I have, so Popo, uh, thank you so much for being here. I think you're coming to us, uh, from your place in Italy. Looks at yeah. least it, it hello. Looks, yeah. 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 It, it looks, it's Italian style. It, it looks Italian in the background. Um, Popo, before we jump into some of the stuff that you're working on, I, I just have to ask, um, how is, obviously we're looking at you and speaking to you, so you're, you're doing well. Um, how is your family doing and how are your other loved ones, friends, teammates, old guys you used to race against anybody else, uh, in the country? How, how is everybody doing? Yeah, you know, <laughs> I have a lot of friends, a lot of people I know and uh, many of them in different situation uh for the for the first my parents fortunately they live in the in the region of Lvov, where it's quite good quite good only in the morning of 23rd 24 when the war start and 7 30 in the morning they attack the military base when i'm when i burn in the kalino when my, my father live now we have the this military base of helicopters. This location they located there, and they attacked this uh, base only once. But uh, the all helicopters they they went from this uh, base already some hours before they knew it they will attack. So this was nothing special. Only this, and after till two days ago in our region it was quite quite easy. Uh, only some uh, some groups of the the you know the the groups of people who do some shit everywhere to 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 found some problem or do some things. Only they fight with them. Only the one problem now in our region is 
they safe there, but the many, many people who escaped from the difficult region, they went to, the, to them. And uh, till two weeks, it was quite good. But now the food start to finish, you know, because now normally region where you have like two, three millions, now it's six, seven, eight millions wow. they're living in every house, every place, every hotel. Yeah, because it's now the emergency of the food. It's start to be there, right? And we're and that's what that's where you come in. And I want to get to that uh, in a second. But in in other, you know, you, uh, other, you know, because I I read and see these stories on the news of there was a Ukrainian professional tennis player who who uh, left the sport to go fight in the army. There was um, obviously I have the Klitschko brothers who are fighting. I have these athletes that. Have come back i mean you must know people that have said i'm gonna go fight i'm gonna defend my country yeah you know when i'm i was in uh, um, in UAE for the race in uh, dubai tour there in the UAE tour and the first three days for me was really amazing you know like really hard with the head to understand everything and uh, when my friends uh, start to escape from kiev uh, you know, with the family immediately after the first uh, attack, and they they spend a lot of time to go away. One of my friends come back to the military. He 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 go uh, immediately. Uh, also, in my mind, was the same. You know, I was thinking what I what I can do for my country. You know, and when I come back from from UI tour, I say to my wife, "Listen, I will I will go to Ukraine to fight." Uh, and she was pissed for sure. She was really pissed. Mm-hmm. But I, I say, okay, I will not tell after. I will, I will not tell her nothing. But I will go to bring some uh, uh, humanitarian things. I will leave. I will cross the border. But after I call to one my friend, I say, listen, I want to go. She say, listen, if you not have experience with military things, you will come here. You will build some something. You will do the work like normal person. They will not give you the gun or something or Kalashnikov to fight. And he say, "Listen, with your friends around the world, with with your uh, everything, what you can do, try to do something there in Italy, in Ukraine, in, in Europe, and after we will see what happens." Mm-hmm. And and just and, and and for the listener uh, or the viewer. And Johan and I were talking about this on the phone the other day because, it, you know, Ukraine, I'm sitting here in Colorado in the United States and Ukraine is far away. Right. And we see all the maps and all the, all the graphics and everything they show on TV. But you don't really understand. Like my question was, how big a place are we talking? Right. And so I, I you know, I looked it up and all I ever know to compare anything to is the state of Texas. So I looked up the landmass for Ukraine, and then I looked up the landmass for Texas, which to me is a huge uh, state, huge body of land. And so for the listener, just just to put this in perspective, because I it really helped me kind of align and, and understand just the sheer mass of this country. It's about it's roughly the same size as the state of Texas. So um, I thought, OK, you know, if I if I lived in in uh, El Paso and, and Dallas was getting bombed. That's yeah, a long ways. I might think, well, you know, I'm way over here and I'm safe. And of course, Popo, you grew up close to the Polish border. And um, but at the end of the day, uh, Vladimir Putin is is going to move from from Dallas to Waco to Austin to San Antonio to West Texas to El Paso. You know, we know how this goes. So the people in Western Ukraine, where you're from, um, must be scared. I mean, they must know that he's uh, at least his intention is to not stop. Yeah, it was you know till two days ago. What I'm repeat, it was quite easy because the all region like Lvov region, Ivano Frankivsk region, and the Zakarpatia region, they close with the border with Europe, with uh, with uh, Romania, with Hungary and Poland. You know, they almost not touch this region because this is really close to Europe. If something went wrong, if some missile or some uh, bomb went to, to a little bit different way, they will can attack the Europe. It will be really, really big mass. And uh, now, like two days ago, they attacked one military base, really like 20 or 30 kilometers from, from the Poland. And Putin, with this, he say, listen, guys, I'm a joke. I can be really close to you, you know. If you bring the army or you give the weapons to Ukraine, 
we will came closer and closer. This is really like political things, really scared. And example, like already five, six days ago, uh, because my father came really f- often to the border to bring the things, good people. Uh, it was, he said, oh, it's in the border already not many people there to escape, you know. But two days ago, it was they attacked this military base and start again, people try to go full gas out of the country. And so you're bringing, you know, obviously food, we understand. So food, uh, clothing, mm. uh, um, supplies, no. what? Or what, what are you, what, no, no, what, are, no. what do these, what do people, uh, what are you bringing that you think or that for, they need? In fact, for the first, now I am bringing a lot of medicine, medicine. I am bringing only medicine because this is the first thing, first aid what we need for the guys in the front line. Because with the all political things, with the old bureaucracy, you know, in Europe, Ukraine, uh, it's really a long time to take the things to Ukraine. It's work like this. All association, uh, charity association, they bring the uh, things to Poland border. They have the big uh, big storage center. They mix everything. They With the truck, they bring to Ukraine. Same storage, st- uh, storage uh, big building. They is, again mix things and send to the places. But I work like <laughs> in three days and from Italy bring to the first line in Ukraine. How far, how, 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 how far is that? I drive every time 1,500 kilometers to border. My oh, that's father. 1,000 miles. So that takes you yeah, probably 15, 16 yeah, hours. Yeah, that's 14 hours. <laughs> uh, I've, 40, I've, driven, yeah. I've driven with you. So, yes, it's a re- record time. Record time. <laughs> yeah. And uh, my father uh, crossed the border because normally I not can go inside because I will never go out. It's from 18 to 60 years, no one can, can go out. My, my father drive the same van. We we change the the things. And he bring to the to the his house, and another guys came to his house, and they bring in the in the first line. Mm. How many times? How many times did you go now, Popo, to uh, to the border? Oh, I went already two times. Two times. Yeah. And and in Saturday night I will start third mm. one. Yeah, I mean for the for the listeners and 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 uh, the people who have followed cycling, you know, Popo was in my opinion one of the uh l- you know model uh teammates uh it was difficult to find a, a better teammate than than popo and in occasions when he needed to be he was also a great leader and i think you know seeing this now in another part of your life uh i mean first of all popo i mean amazing what you're doing it's 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 really really incredible and uh, you know, taking taking advantage of your connections and uh, the way you know how to travel and, and how things work. Uh, I mean, hats off for for what you're doing. And you know, one of the things, of course, uh, one of the the objectives of of this interview with you is is of course, you know, making people aware uh, right from the from the the core of the problem, what's going on, and uh, and how they can help. Right, so so I imagine mm-hmm. that right now uh, you live in Italy, and uh, the majority of the help comes from Italy. Yes. Uh, yeah. So so I'm, what is it? What, what can what can people do internationally to help you or to help anything anybody else who works in the same way? Because I have the impression that this is really like to the point. You know, real stuff, real things that are needed straight to where they have to be. I think it's very it's it's very difficult to find something more effective than this. So yeah. what can people do? Uh what can we do uh to to help you? Yeah, you know, it's it's true what you say. I'm I'm because example, I have the now I have big, big storage center here in Italy when I have the food, I have the the appers for the kids, everything. But I, I not can send now big truck because this big truck go in one point, another point, and after you, you never can follow where it disappear. But I go in, like you say, at one point, I know where this go, the things, and where they arrive. In example, I'm received uh, today, this morning, the list of the medical stuff, what we need in this moment, we finish. I'm ordered here now for 2,000, 3,000 euros. <laughs> I go tomorrow, pick up, 
put in the truck and go, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, for sure, from Europe, it's much easier way to know, like from Spain, Portugal, Germany, to 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 bring things to to the people, and they will bring there. From US, it's really difficult because I have friends also in US. They say, okay, we buy this, this, this. Uh, we want to bring there, but it's not possible because but, uh, but, play. It, yeah, but are people giving? Are are, are they donating? these items it's for better, free yeah okay you know the, yeah 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 here i have everything for free but now okay. i am also i need to spend money for the gasoil you know for the rent the one example one of my one i went there i come back and it was engine was broken <laughs> you no. know i uh, i need to you drive yeah, too fast. I, no, no, no. He was there. This was old, old man. This was old man. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, like uh, people start to donate the money. Like this, I can, I can rent another one. Uh, the pay to the guys who like Bileka. He was with me working. You know, uh, he also helped me. You know, and uh, to buy the, the some medicine because people not understand what they need to bring. Some people take the clothing. Some. People clean the garage, you know, from the clothing they bring there, but we not can use this for now. Mm. Now, the, in every moment, they have the special things. Like <laughs> the, the clothing, it will be in three, four months, they will need the clothing. Mm-hmm. Now they need food and, uh, and medicine. medicine. <clears throat> Exam- example, now I have a lot of stuff of the, for the kids in my, uh, my storage center. And a lot of kids come now to, to Italy mm. and the mom with the kids and they don't have clothing and have nothing. Right. They, uh, I they, tell them they, my they wife. They live with nothing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They live with nothing. And my wife, example, uh, create the, uh, the WhatsApp group and the people start to come in our storage center, take the, 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 the everything for the kids, you know, the uppers, food, uh, clothing, uh, shoes. And uh, but I work only with the medicine. Example: yeah. After tomorrow, I go to Germany. I'm passed through the Germany to ch- to take the, the the stuff and bring to Ukraine. And this President Zelensky, have you have you met this guy? Uh, no, I not met him, but I know the the guy who his personal coach. <laughs> yeah, I, personal I gotta, coach, I, I gotta yeah, tell I you, this guy, I you know. What a fucking badass. I, I just, you know, this, I, I hope, you know, I don't, but you know, there's two parts of me. I, you know, one part is like, can't wait to meet this guy. The other part is like, man, I hope he survives. Cause he is, he yeah. is uh, steadfast in his uh, resolve. He is staying put. Um, you know, we know how these things can turn out. I mean, we're seeing the, the bombing and the shelling and the, and the rockets, all of these things coming from all over, who knows if they hit, the wherever he is this would be the worst possible news but he he is showing such a high character i just and 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 to see him address not just our u.s congress yesterday i I believe german parliament today uk parliament the other day canada as well um man he don't he's not afraid of anything like and and to think of his whole story you know, because they they talk about it a lot here on American TV that this guy was a comedian. He was an actor. He ran is yes. almost, almost almost like a like a jo- not a joke, but almost as like a dare. Like, and he won the presidency. But to see him um, stand up like this is it, it's. I hope to be able to. I don't even need. I just need to shake the guy's hand at some point in my life. Yeah, he's really you no know, like before the war start. He was like. People was not not right, so happy, but it's normal. People are always not happy, you know, like about everything. And he was really bad. But now I think if he will survive, I say if he will survive, because they try to catch him in every moment, he will be president for all of his life. <laughs> so what? What? Let me ask you this question because I, I I watch it all the time and I I try to think about it from a strategy standpoint, and I know the the debate around the no-fly zone, the debate around uh, the fighter jets in Poland, and, and you know, now and the whole world seems to be um, helping, but uh, the, to a point, right? They can't help too much because, and I think they're probably right. It, it, too much help starts World War III. None of us want that. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, you have the people of Ukraine that are stuck in the cross, literally stuck in the crosshairs. But my, I guess my question is what does Vladimir Putin 
actually think is going to happen here. Like I, I, I've never been to Ukraine, so maybe it's got, you know, just fucking gold leaves and, and hot blondes. I don't know. Like, what's the point? Like, does he really think that he's just going to take the country and, and a year later it's going to be his and everybody's going to be happy? I, I can't imagine that. What, like, what is the objective? But this is, you know, this is start not only now in the last uh, months. This is already years when the Putin have the more and more and more. If you see 2008, he went in the, in the, there in one, no, Georgia. no, no, Crimea, Georgia. 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 In Georgia, Georgia, it was 2008. He take one place. In Moldova, he take another region. You know, they control the region. Uh, after they take the took the the Crimea, also two region of Ukraine. You no, know, it's everything like he put the hand, put the hand, they grab the things. Everything has everyone say, ah, it's okay, it's okay. He's like this, you know, blah blah. blah. But now he start to take the whole country. He attacked mm-hmm. the before the base. Okay, I, I, no, in the first day I was say, okay, he attacked the military base. It's okay, you know, like you try to 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 to, to things. After when he start to put full gas to the to the houses to the to the hospitals because he want to create the the panic in the country to to escape everyone. He he want to take only the Kiev. He don't want to take another part of Ukraine. Only the Kiev to put his people there. It will be the like ex chichip Russia, you know. But yeah. the problem, the the Estonia and Lithuania is this country. They was already under the Russia. They don't want to come back. They really scared because if he came there, he will ca- came to take also them because they scare about the NATO, about the the. But it's a little bit stupid things because they say, "Hey, NATO have the weapons and everything." In Twenty seconds, they will arrive to to Russia. You know, I don't I don't understand these things. It's well, only- well, he he's not doing a good job. I mean, I, unless I'm yeah. missing something, and 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 in the and the the part of me thinks, okay, he's this is a, a he's sort of doing a little fake and then he comes but if this is and and what i'm hearing that all of the troops that he had amassed are put on the on the border before the war they're all in the country I mean, there's not there's not 10 waves of russian troops behind so that we, we're looking at at what he has and again I, i'm no four-star general and i don't have access to anything but if that's if if that's what he thought he was going to come in and be successful with well he was dead fucking wrong I think I yeah, think we they, all everybody's brother everybody's over here is and you know is surprised you probably not popo of how much of a country feeling the Ukrainians have how they fight and how they defend their country that's something that you know I think it's, it's never seen before uh even uh, as far as I've understood there's even a, a, around 40,000 uh foreigners who went into Ukraine to to fight mm-hmm. Americans? Back, yeah, yeah. So, um, did you expect this popo to to have the Ukrainians fight so strong and so so much for for your country? Yes, <laughs> because, <Okay. laughs> because 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 we are we are fighters, you know. Yeah. And the problem of 2014 when they took the Crimea and also another two region. The problem is we in this moment we not have the army we not have nothing because after CCCP uh, is ninety two when everything is went away we sell everything if you see the film with uh, Nicolas Cage I think the King of War or something like Wolf of War or something it's a true story when they sell everything 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 we was not expecting this you know but now in the last seven eight years. We receive a lot of armed army because U.S. Uh, Europe scared about. They know already the political things. They mm. put a lot of army to uh, to uh, to our army. We we have an exclamation. They went to to study. You know they have and now we we are power, powerful. We receive more and more and more. We can fight. We can fight with the guys who who even don't know what what has happened. If you see the the news in the first two three days. When they send the military, Russian military to Ukraine, they send them without the phones, without nothing. They was with the old maps. For this, in Ukraine, example, they took out the old city names, all the signs with, like, example, key of 20 kilometers, this city, this kilometer. They put out because this guy was loose everywhere. We don't understand <coughs> why, but 
after they send them like they wake up in the morning and they say okay we need, we come back to russia to our base but they went to ukraine they wake oh, up and they say <laughs> they, yeah they say oh whoa, what what we doing in ukraine you know we came to the do the exercise but it was not exercise they went to kiev yeah. no direction Wait, what, what is in popo you're busy so we don't want to keep it too long but what what is the added cuz i mean you guys know better than me how many russians and, and and let me just say this before I before I go into this, like uh, we raced with Russians, we had Russian teammates and where they sit on this debate, we won't get into. But there are Vladimir Putin is one thing, right? He is a straight up war criminal, is a war criminal and should be tried as such done. But there are good Russians, right? There are people that don't want, you see this lady that got on TV the other day, risked 15 years in prison to protest on, on state TV. Hmm. There are good Russians. So the, let's just, the Peloton has obviously quite a few Russians. What is the attitude, just to bring it back to cycling, since this is where we all met, what's the attitude inside the Peloton from the Russians and the other, you know, other riders that are members of NATO or other riders that are perhaps American do they even speak about it? And you know, like example, uh, Russia and Ukraine. This was already in the last year. Always some. But I'm, I'm really not nationalist. You know, I really can fight. You know, I can fight with some guys. Really fight for something. But till the person understands this, till the person understand what the president of these these guys or people go fight with us, yeah. If they accept this, they not say, yeah, it's not true, it's not true. I will talk with them really easy. We can confront our opinion. But if someone say the Russian go there to kill the Nazist or somebody else or save the Russian because uh, Ukrainian killed the Russian or with, because they spoke Russian, it's stupid things. Because the propaganda of Russia is really high. You have, like, example, 20% normal people who understand the situation, 80%, they even not arrive. They they trust the television, they trust everything. They not have the internet to read something. You know, like example, this, we say like, okay, why they not do the revolution or something against? But this 20%, they try to do this, but they they pick them, pick them in the... the yep. Well, I think I, I think it's I think it's very telling, you know, if a country cancels Facebook, cancels Twitter, cancels all free opinion media, it's for a reason. So it's like Popo says, you know, I, I think there's a small part of Russians who understand the situation, and of course, anybody who understands the situation or gets a, a, a diverse view on the situation will condemn it and then they will say okay this is not right yeah you know i'm not <laughs> but, even i mean but, a complete, but, not, I even, also not, the, not even a diverse view a complete view just just yeah. give me a, a complete 360 view i yeah. i have also the like russian who asked me in the instagram to give my credit account to send me the money you know the guys i never expect and the, in the peloton you know i don't know because after the when war started after three three days i went <laughs> i'm stay only do the, these things because i don't know but uh but when this happened you know the attack that happened i was in the in the elevator a one guy from Roosevelt came in the in the elevator he say good morning i said i told told them you think it's good morning Right, and he like he put the head like this, you know, and they don't talk. Also, the guys, I was still three days there. I I know Ivan Rovny, he was a rider with us, you know. He was uh, always looking me from far. He was hide, you know. He was shy. He was hide. He was even not can watching that, my face. That's called that's called shame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's called yeah. shame. It's a terrible I, word. I, yeah, I'm never. Uh, yeah, I, I say to him hello, but. If they not come to me to ask me something, I will never go there because I'm scared. If I will found some stupid guy, I will smash him in the face. <laughs> this is a big problem. <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> we, we need you to drive supplies back and forth to the border. Don't, don't, don't I think, let's not get put in jail. I think we. I mean, we didn't. We didn't really uh, insist on that, but I think it's it's worth noting that Popo took uh, leave from his job as a as a sport director. 
to dedicate uh, yourself to this exclusively. Um, yeah. So I mean, that's that's uh, that's obviously a sign how important it is to you. And uh, and as I said, you know, it's it's amazing, it's amazing that you do that. But uh, it, I find it I find it surprising that you know the people you know from from your professional cycling career that there is this division uh you know between between russians and ukrainians and and this different point of view uh you would think normally that anybody who has been traveling the world has seen a lot of things i mean these are not the people that live in a rural area and are only fed the state promoted information you know, you well, well, think- and they're in Western Europe racing bikes. I mean, we're but nobody's exactly. racing bikes, but at least that I know of. Nobody's racing bikes in Russia where the media mm-hmm. is controlled. Mm-hmm. You're speaking about guys who are in Western Europe or or in North America or someplace where they can just turn on a TV. Yeah. Right. So they're not exactly. being none of this is being hidden from them. Yeah. So so that's why I said I'm I'm a bit surprised that there is these that there are these contradicting views, but maybe you didn't have uh, that much interaction, Popo, since uh, since the beginning of uh, of the war. I mean, we we are allowed to call it the war, right? Uh, yes, not, not, not <laughs> yeah, like the sure. Russians. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so did you have any any specific conversation with Russians that you know from a long time? With uh, with the with the riders or with the cycling life life not, but here in Italy, for example, uh, friends of of my of my wife of our kids was always together, you know, in the kinder kindergarten. Or it, 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 this this woman lived in Italy already for a long time. She say no, no. From the beginning, she start to say, eh, no, it's it's okay, war, it's okay. They they came there uh, to fight the Nazis in Ukraine. It's clean everything. And my wife, after two minutes, she says, "Shut up!" Uh, delayed from the friends, <laughs> immediately delayed. Yeah. All another, another. We meet another Russian uh, woman. She married with an Italian. Uh, she is in the last two, three weeks, uh, two weeks, twenty, almost, almost three, uh, three weeks. She, she, she always sh- scared about us. You know, when when our um, our kids go to to dancing school. She she went with the kid. She wa- even not watch me. She escaped, but I not have nothing against her. You know, I can I can grab her to say be not scared about me. I'm not do nothing wrong. If you understand the situation, for me it's really good. Yeah. We need to be friends. You know, I not can tell you something because you're Russian. And you understand the situation. Mm. This is the point of view. Well, man. <clears throat> This stuff is hard to watch. It's 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 really truly unbelievable. We th- we throw around the word unbelievable a lot, right? If somebody does something good or bad, but this is you really know, I, to watch it uh, from my seat here in the middle of North America. It's it's unbelievable, and it's and it's 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 depressing. You know, I I find myself getting pulled into the coverage and then having to pull back because I can't watch it. Right? I I have five children. We all have children. You know, just the uh, and we have, we know, obviously through folks like you, we have friends there and, um, and it almost seems, um, I, I just don't see the end. Right. And that's, that's the most, that's always the hardest thing. Like, wait, okay. If you said, okay, you guys can do this until, uh, March 31st. Well, then you can say, oh, okay, that's it. But the, the, it's, it's, it's just so hard to try to visualize an end. I have I have a lot of information. You know, I have a lot of friends. I'm now in the contact with the different military guys because some guys need to help, some not. You know, I'm talking with one. And she say, "Listen, it will be one or more year." Yeah. Say, no, 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 no. Tell me this. He say, "Yes, it's not so easy." You know. Another one say, me, "Yeah, listen, we are still okay, but now we will move to." put them away but it's also it's depend of the situation of everything but the worst things when i have chat uh, group you know in whatsapp with my friends when two days ago they put the, this sirena anti anti uh, how is name no when ooh, oh, the, the uh, siren the, the uh, anti yeah, siren, siren. Yep. they send the, you know they want my guy say my city is now like this when i hear this siren it was amazing and another thing I'm, I'm bringing from, from Ukraine border, my sister, uh, kids, you know, I bring. 
one of uh, of them he, she is 16 or 17 years old and she was in the 24 of uh, of um March, yeah, February, 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 sorry, February, yeah, February. She was she was in Ivano-Frankivsk, close to the airport of of Ivano-Frankivsk, and they attacked this also uh, with the missiles. They attacked with the bombs, and she went immediately underground, you know, in the building. And when they they went here, like some days ago, uh, I have the prosecco, you know, I opened prosecco, and boom. She almost oh, lying no. in the, in the, oh, in the wow. ground. Yes. Yeah. I was yeah. feel so sorry. You know, she she stand yeah. up. And she say, "Don't do this again. One more time." Right. Yeah, that's but trauma. It that's was trauma. for me. It was, it was, it was in my house. You know, it was not. The, but another thing, when I went the first time in the border, it was I was crying for two hours there, three hours. You know, when you see this, this the first what I what I saw when I went close to the border like two three kilometers to, to go it was train you know it was uh, railways it was all train ukrainian train with the with these old kids it was only kids inside they was watching you with this face they don't know what, what where they go what they will right, do right. and also there in the, in the border i was waiting my father was c- close the border i was went to walking to see the people and some people was waiting and other people you know they have idea where they go but and many people went to me to ask me, you can bring me to the city or you can help me to go in this city or what I need to do, you know? Yeah, it de- was, de- desperation. Uh, it, was, it was too too much for me. It was too yeah. much with the kids walking with the, with the luggage, you know, like somewhere where they not know where to go. Right. Was, yeah, they don't, they don't know the ending. They don't know where yeah, they ended they up. They don't know they went, yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Let's Because I feel like we sh- the, our audience is so great. Um, and you guys and gals know, we think that about y'all. So we'll, let us try to put together something to help. I mean, if you're being donated all the supplies and the goods, there's gotta be a way where we can do a, a small fundraiser to help with just the other costs, whether it's, you know, <laughs> truck maintenance or fuel, or it doesn't matter, but, uh, we, we will, uh, for the listener or viewer, um, we'll figure out a way, figure out a link, put it up in the, in the bio and make sure you guys and gals have that. And, um, uh, Popo. You're a you're a fucking hero, man. So <laughs> uh, no, this is it, it takes all kinds, right? And I think it's a good point, right? You, you might if somebody attacked Texas, I'd be like, I'm going right now. See y'all later. And if somebody said, Yeah, you can go, but you're going to be like folding cardboard boxes, or you know, uh, organizing toothbrushes, I would say, Okay, is there something? What's another thing? So you're you're doing God's work, and and we certainly appreciate it. And, and I know the, the, obviously the folks there do as well. So, and let's, let's keep in touch. I'd love to, um, okay. to keep in touch and get an update and help wherever we can. Yeah, for sure. I want to say a thank you to everyone who helped me. You know, it's not big things, but not big things. I, I, I make the money with the, with the dinners, you know, uh, like in the, every country I have some help. Like example, Chechu Rubiera, you remember he, oh, yeah. he bring Chechu, uh, today or yesterday arrived the family of my friends of my wife two family they arrived to his house uh, every cyclist uh, helped me you know who can uh, uh, in different country i'm really really appreciate they i'm really want to say to everyone thank you who, you know they in the first days this was really difficult because i received like 120 180 telephone uh, calls you know to help everyone i was really really bad if you see me like three four days ago i was Mm-hmm. I was almost dead, but I after I take the rest, uh, I will take one weekend for my family because my wife said, "Okay, you come back from you. Well, hey, now two weeks I'm not see you. You always full gas somewhere. Now I start to be more quiet. I more focused in the right things, you know, and I help when I can." <laughs> awesome. Yeah. All right, we'll man. Do, we'll we'll do what we can, Popo. We're yeah, we'll thank organize. you, guys. We'll organize uh, something and uh, whatever we can do, or if you have any other ideas, Popo. Let us yeah, know. for sure. I, I I will I will give you like a link of the donation service in Ukraine. It's like it's military site, but it's when I talk with my guy with my friend, I say, listen, some people don't want to donate for the for the arms or for something, but this is the 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 uh, general things. They can buy the cars, they can buy the food, they they can use everything for help our country. They also 
uh, provide uh, for the people the things. Perfect. So this we can use this, and uh, we can give my also if people believe, you know. But uh, we will, we will see what we can do. All right, buddy. Be safe. Okay. We're thinking about yeah, you guys. Thank you guys. Thank, thank you, buddy. you, Popo. See ya. Ciao, ciao. 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 ciao.